Yo, what's going on, people? We are live once again, and we just want to bring the show to you guys uh, to inspire, which to inspire people to take that first step, to take action on going up to those goals and dreams, and uh, and motivate those who are actually doing it. Um, so, basically, we want, that's 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 the purpose. You know, that's that's why we're doing what we're doing, guys. And uh, uh, but but anyway, scratch all that. Uh, so, for those of you who don't know. Um, my name is Jeremiah Dace, and I'm joined with the lovely and amazing Xavius Prela. Hey, how y'all doing today? Hey, girl, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing good, I'm doing good. <laughs> uh, but I'm really excited about the show today, guys. Um, uh, we, uh, Zay said something on the last episode where it was where we were talking about the things that we've been through and how we got to where we are today. They said, uh, What did you say, girl? <laughs> no, no, no. Asking for something and being ready to receive it. And not being and not being ready yeah, to receive asking it. for something and not being ready to receive it that was the key thing so that really hit home for me and because it, it um, definitely spoke to me and I got some things that I could talk about on that um, but before we get too down and dirty into the meat of the show we wanted to talk about you know I actually went to ask Zay about her week uh, you know I think you said something you know happened to you or you uh, well, yeah. you started something that you're trying to continue with. I did, I did. So I eat terribly, and <laughs> okay. I, I love. Okay. I love. Okay, no, no, no. I don't eat terribly, but I love food. And if it's, if I really like it, I overindulge, and I would eat it. Eat, I'll be full, and I ooh, just the taste. So I started a cleanse this week, and I'll be doing it for the next two weeks. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm really excited about tell, it. No, tell them what, what what cleanse it is. This is the master cleanse. The, the, the one with the lemonade. <laughs> yeah. I call it the Beyonce uh, cleanse. And it's so funny. Oh, my God. Of course, they, because she a diva, y'all. I don't know if y'all know this. What up, Dale? What's going on, man? What up, Lindsay? Oh, but anyway, um, so I don't know if y'all know this about Zay, but she's oh, a diva. Man. So it's so I'm fitting. Humble. I'm humble. It's so fitting that she did the Beyonce cleanse. It's not because Beyonce did it. I definitely did. I knew, okay, I knew she did it a long time ago. Okay. Like, I kind of already knew about it. But I definitely I did my homework. But I just, I haven't been working out for the people who don't know. I did, I broke my hand a couple weeks ago. So I haven't been able to work out and I can see my body changing. I can feel my body changing. Oop. But my eating habits are not changing. So I was like, I need to do something, especially until I get off the profile and I can start working out again. A profile is just, you on restriction, you can't work out. She in the military. For the people who don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, you know, I really need to do something. And I think this cleanse, it, I, hope, I, I hope that it um, kind of... You know, it doesn't, it's supposed to reset your digestive system so I don't get all those crazy cravings. And um, I don't know, it's just something I wanted to try. And, you know, I, don't, I need to be, everybody needs to be cleaned out every here now and again. So I think okay. it'll I think it'll be great. Shout out, shout out but to But thank you, it's not that. because of Beyonce. He always want to play. I mean, you know, I mean, you know. <laughs> but that so, was a, it's just a coincidence. Let's just say that. It's just a coincidence. <laughs> But the lemonade is good. The lemonade is good. I will say that. Well, what's 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 in the lemonade? That what's the, the cleanse? The lemonade is what you drink every day. Mm-hmm. So what's what's in it? So, people so that may it's wonder. freshly squeezed lemons. So every morning I squeeze lemons, um, cayenne pepper. So it's mm-hmm. a little spicy, but that gets your metabolism, keeps it going. Get a little pepper. You know, I, I, and that, it, and um, maple syrup. Maple syrup has to be grape B, but I, I couldn't find grape B because they're trying to do away with that. So I've been doing grade A dark roast. Um, dark roast. Yes. That's coffee. No, it's it, if you if there if you look at the different types of maple syrup, there are different types of roast and colors and yeah, it, it's yeah. something new every day. I and it's expensive, food. like not not even, but it's worth it. It's for my health. So. Hey, you yeah, you are worth it. You, <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you got you. it. You got it. Hey, Jenny. So um, what about you? Did anything happen to you last week or for you? Did you learn I, anything? I mean, like this past week. Honestly, I've been in. I just been in the lab. Uh, the lab. Well, that that I, I just been grinding it out. You know, what I mean, I, I've been. I've been. I call my room the lab, my bedroom. Oh. Because <laughs> I've been. We, we out here making magic. You know, that's what I. Anyway, no, true but uh, no, true, true, true. No, um, honestly, I've just been working. I had a, a research paper I had to finish. Um, that's due this coming week, so I went to get it done. And uh, I don't know about y'all, but papers. Like, yo, I hate, <laughs> I hate writing papers. I hate, I just, I don't know what it is. I just, I just writing is not my strong suit. So, um, just, just to write a paper is not where I didn't, I didn't enjoy spending. I, I mean, I enjoyed it because I got it done, but I didn't enjoy it because it's not where I would, it's not something I would voluntarily do every, every weekend. So, yeah. um. How long yeah, was the paper? It was like, it was like five pages. 
And you had, but you had, you had the, the, the research. You had to do the research, and you had five pages, and you had to do an abstract page, because uh, it's APA style format. And it, I mean, it's it, not to say that five pages is like, oh my gosh, and everything like that. But you that. really have to focus. Yeah, 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 well, yeah, yeah. And if you don't like it in the beginning, three pages, two pages is kind of like, you know, yeah. it was on climate change, which opened my eyes to a lot of different things. But that's basically what I've been doing, you know, for the week. You know, just been honestly working and getting that taken care of. School, you know, going for the go. But hold on, pause. I want to say, y'all want to thank Jay. He did my bun today. <laughs> Shout out to Jay. He helped me out because of my head. So he, he, he did okay. He did okay. Thank you. Oh, look, oh, 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 shout out to Lindsay at Cucumber. Oh. To the drink. Okay. Okay, shout out to Lindsay. And I have some in the um, refrigerator, too. Thank you, Lindsay. Hey, I would definitely hey, try that. Appreciate you. I will appreciate try that. You. Um, so, uh, I mean, I'm not going to do it. But, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? But, but definitely, shout out to Lindsay for that, for, that, for that shout out. Um, but, um, yeah, 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 yeah. I helped her with the bun. Um, so, excuse me if it's not... What is it? What's, what's the young cat say? On fleek? Yeah. <laughs> is it, I mean, I think it's okay. I'm grateful. You I mean, know. like for my first bun. Yeah, I think I think my first bun looked all right. Well, thank you. I, I do. It's thank okay. you. Hey, you got to go with what you <laughs> um, But yeah, yeah, to get into the meat of the show, guys, um, like I said before, as they said something last episode with asking for something but not being ready to receive it. So, Zay, what does that look like? for you and what's something that you can pull from like what, what's 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 in it what's the scenario you can, you can share that i'm you? currently going through yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. oh that's a good one um i think i know i'm always trying to be better and trying to do better and so i'm I, it's on my goals board uh my vision board i write it in my notes all the time i really want to attract people uh master I, I call it a mastermind team that's mm-hmm. that's how i relate it in my notes but i really just want to attract people in my life who um are success oriented who have you know ambition and just really want to go further in life and um just really go after their goals and dreams and hopefully fulfill their purpose and so that's something that i've been asking for the universe but as far as being ready to receive it and I'm not blaming it on anybody. I definitely take responsibility for everybody that's in my life um, and all my relationships. There are some people who aren't that way, but I still give them time. Mm-hmm. And so I don't really think I'm being fair, not only to the universe, but not even to myself. I'm asking for something, but I'm not really being aggressive and, you know, doing away with the old. And not even doing away with because I would still love them, but just maybe love them from a distance a little bit. You know? <laughs> so, <laughs> and not try to be mean, but, you so know. So you're asking for, you're asking for more people, like, or dip, a, a, a new set of people to come into your life, but you're not making room for those people to come into your life. Like, you're not distancing yeah, yourself. Yeah, but it doesn't even have to be a new set of people. I'm asking mm-hmm. for even, you know, it, I even, you know, pray and meditate for the people who are in my life to, mm-hmm. you know, do what they are destined to do. But okay. you can't. Yeah change people if they want to change you know what I mean yeah yeah yeah, yeah. they make that decision on their yeah. own agreed, agreed. so it's just that I don't feel like I'm being aggressive about that so that is something that I'm currently struggling with or I wouldn't even say struggling but it's like definitely a challenge to because I care about these people yeah. and, you know I really love these people but them not living to their full potential it indirectly you know weighs on me as well I mean no, I feel you because it's like you want to hang out like like it's not that you don't ha- you, like that you have anything against them, Mm-mm. but I love these people. That's why they're the in my life. <laughs> <laughs> at the end of the day, like you you at least right now, you want different things, mm-hmm. and what you specifically want, you can't necessarily achieve it doing the same things that they're doing. Right. Yeah. And I and I and, and there's nothing there's nothing wrong with that. I, you know I I think that that's and I think it's it's a that's part of going after your goals and dreams. You have you're gonna have to separate yourself from certain people um, in order to achieve it. Mm-hmm. You know, they gotta make those sacrifices, if you will. So, with that being said, what are some steps that you're, that having realized that about yourself, what are some steps that you're doing? Cause there may be somebody out there that's maybe that's watching, or maybe somebody out there that will watch that's going through the same thing. So what are some steps that you're doing in order to, uh, to uh, conquer that challenge, if you will? So I do wanna say, it's one of those things that are you know it's hard to really face because you know you're like man these people are really because i care about these people Agreed. um Agreed. but i know definitely looking at myself mm-hmm. because if if you know i definitely believe in that uh, what's that saying 
people who flock together, friends of birds flock together, something. <laughs> birds of a feather flock together. <laughs> something like that. <laughs> so it must be something uh, in me uh-huh. that I'm keeping those two around, or mm. that you know I'm attracted mm. to these people. Mm. So I always, you know, I'm so right now what I'm doing, I am really trying to put the mirror up to my face and like saying what are the qualities that I want to change in myself because yeah. I really believe after I make you know after I start making those changes I will begin to allow those other people uh, and not subconsciously like not even really you know think like let it happen um, and not it won't be so dramatic as oh I'm just pushing this person out of my life or that person feel that way but hopefully the people who are in my life and you know they're like, oh, okay, she's just growing. Good for her. She's following her goals and dreams instead of, oh, she came to the curb. She thinks she's better, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't want to do, I don't want to go through that. So I think that's the first step. I think it's to put the mirror up to my face and um, look at those qualities that I want in my mastermind team and, and put it and develop it within myself. Ah, that's, no, that's, that's phenomenal. That, that, <laughs> that really is. That really is. Because it's, cause it's so easy to say, oh, nobody out here wants more. Nobody out here, yeah. everybody out here doing the same thing. Instead of saying instead of saying that, say like, well, what am I doing to attract mm-hmm. the people that don't want more and the people who yeah. that seem to just be okay with doing the status quo? That is a <laughs> shout out to you. So that's step shout one, I you. believe. I mean, I'm pretty sure. And as I do that, I'm pretty sure you know because I'm asking to receive it, mm-hmm. I'll be more open minded to know what to go from there. Okay. So. Okay. Shout out to that. Shout out to that. Do you have any advice? Any other advice to... I think that that's like that. that definitely. It, it, it starts with self. Because it's like, you, I, I believe you attract, you attract who you are. You know what I mean? So mm. if you want... <laughs> no, that's, real, that's so real. Because like, if you want more or if you want, you know, if you want something specific out of life, you have to become it before you mm. could even acquire it. You know, cause it, and then it, it, in order to keep it, you have to become it. Right. You know what I mean? Oh, you have to live true. it. So, uh, that, no, that, that's, that right there, that's somebody, that, I, I, you know, I hope that that really helps somebody if they listen to it and really actually uh, apply it to their lives because you definitely got to self-reflect. What is it about you that continuously brings, whether it's a person or people or that same situation mm-hmm. back into your life? What right. is it about you? That's, that's, that's deep. Yeah. Shout out to Zay. Well, thank you. Am I the motivational speaker? Or are you? No, just, <laughs> <laughs> you know, who, who, no but um, <laughs> no, but this is um, real life. Hey, and we live. <laughs> so I'm just speaking from we live. You know, we live, baby. But thank you. I, I'll definitely. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Um, but is there? You were really excited. I remember um after you know we reviewed our notes from the yeah, last yeah, episode, yeah, yeah. and you were like, "Man, Zay, we gotta talk about it. We gotta talk about it." So my question for you is, what? What what had you so inspired about that, this topic? Like what 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 is going on? Oh, like, what has going on as oh, okay, far okay, as okay okay okay. Um, yo, I had the I was uh, okay. So I like this year. I decided this year was like yo. I'm, I I like thoroughly and completely accepted that I want to be a motivational speaker, and I was pumped about it. Right? I don't know why in my mind that like this year like I was just gonna get like at least two three gigs out the gate you know what I mean like I, I was, so I'm like well no I wrote down my 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 goals like to speak publicly at least once I thought that it was gonna come closer to the end of the year I don't know why but it came a lot sooner you know what I mean the opportunity presented itself and I was excited about it but I realized that I was not ready in any way shape or form to actually speak publicly to anybody you know what I mean so I realized that I didn't have I, I didn't I never wrote a speech, you know what I mean? I, I realized that I never took the time to to realize what an outline looked like or or a delivery. I wasn't even specific or, or I didn't be specific on the topic that I wanted to talk on. Um, I didn't have a structure. It was like, so I was just like, man, like who? <laughs> I was so pumped for the opportunity, but I didn't even, I wasn't in, in no way was I ready to deliver it or execute on an opportunity or take full advantage there. of the opportunity. Um, so that definitely hit me like, man, like I'm, you pump your brakes, kid. You know what I mean? Like, yo, you're not, you're not where you want to be. And you had the mindset of like being, you had the mindset that you were already there and you're not there yet. So it definitely humbled me and I'm grateful for the experience. Um, it was, it was a dope experience. So you, you got to do it? No, no, no. I, I ultimately, the, the opportunity, uh, Ultimately, the opportunity left not because not due to me not being ready, but it was just it was just uh, timing. ultimately it, it wasn't it wasn't yeah timing it wasn't a good time to to do the opportunity. So, which was you know which like I said was good because 
you know, good guy. You know, if I if it did yeah. go through, I wouldn't I wouldn't have been ready to like I said execute and deliver on the opportunity on the level that I wish I could have. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, 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 something I learned from that though is like stay ready. Yeah. Like and Being not to be like preparation is like is so crucial to any and everything you're trying to do. Um, because if you're not, if you can ask for an opportunity or you can ask for something all you want, but if you're not prepared for it when it comes, then it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It, 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 but when it when it does come, if you're not prepared to act on it, then when it comes, basically it's just gonna stare you in the face, and you gonna be like, oh. I didn't think it was gonna come this fast, or or asking for it and thinking that oh like I, I want it, but uh, like I'm thinking that's gonna come later, and then when it comes sooner than you think it was because you thought it was gonna come later, mm-hmm. so you put off pre- preparing for mm-hmm. it, just because like because you can ask like man like I really want this promotion right, right, but you don't realize that people are already looking at you for promotion. You think it's gonna happen in a year and a half, but it happens in half of a year. You know what I mean? You like oh I no way am I ready to accept this promotion. Mm-hmm. And then you have to turn it down, but they're looking at you like, yo, why did you ask for it? Or why would you, why would you even thinking about it if you weren't ready for it? So definitely, um, that, was, that, was, that spoke wonders to me. You definitely got to make sure that you're prepared for anything that you're already asking for. I, I got something else from that, too. Go ahead, it's kind of, kind of like a twist. I think even so whenever you were presented with the opportunity, instead of you saying, oh, whatever, and being done with it forever, you still... To, you still kept it like as a as a goal. As, you you knew you were you were honest with yourself. You said, you know what, I'm not ready for this right now. Mm-hmm. And you were honest, like, ooh, I, only, <laughs> I can't do this opportunity at yeah. this moment. But you didn't just do away with it and let it go. And knowing in your heart that's what you want to be as a speaker and never pick it up again and prepare for it and just taking yeah, steps yeah, yeah. to do it. But I, I think that's also a lot of people. They may or some people I don't know. They may be like, man, you know, I wasn't ready when it happened, so they don't even try later in life. You know what yeah. I mean? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, you know what I mean. If That's it doesn't it. come right, then it comes later. Yeah. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, do y'all got it? You know what I mean? Do we, do, do we got it? No, but um, definitely, definitely. I think like just because you weren't ready for that specific opportunity, realize that you know, accept that, and right. realize like, yo, I, yeah, I wasn't ready. Right. But make sure, without a shot of a doubt, that the next opportunity that comes, you're you going to take full advantage it. of it. Like it's not gonna. Uh, slip between your fingers because you made sure you did everything that you possibly could so that when the opportunity comes, you're going to execute it to the fullest potential that you have. So I think that that's, um, and that's what I'm trying to do now. Like I said, I'm in the lab, you know what I mean? Putting in work, but, um, but no, I do it every day, guys, but it's not because like, I'm just trying to make sure I'm ready for opportunity, but it's because it's a passion of mine and I, and I love what I do or what I'm trying to become. Um, so yeah, guys, that's, I think that's that, that was great. That, that's, like, that's the show. I didn't even know that you could expound. Like when I said it in the last episode, I didn't think it could be. I didn't. I just applied it to that one situation just because it fit. But mm-hmm. so now I can really apply that to different areas to of life, my life. And that's that's what we're trying to. Like I said, guys, in the beginning of the show, that's what we're doing. We're just here to help inspire those who to inspire people to take action and go after those goals and dreams and motivate those who already are doing the same thing. So. Um, Definitely, guys. You want to get us? You want to hit us with that quote real quick? I do, actually. I did. I come. I came across the quote. Uh, Napoleon Hill. His quote. His quote was, um, and I felt like it was so fitting to the point that you wanted to talk about today. Mm-hmm. Um, he said, "There's a difference between wishing and being ready for a thing. No one is ready for a thing until he believes he can acquire it." Mm-hmm. So that's Napoleon Hill, and I felt like it was Shout fitting. Out to MP. Yeah. MP, NH. MP. <laughs> <laughs> MP. Oh. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Shout, yeah, shout out to Napoleon Hill because that, that was definitely fitting. Yeah. That was definitely fitting. You know, you're welcome. <laughs> now, do you have anything to leave for the people? Anything motivational to get them inspired? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, so, guys, we can only go so far by ourselves, right? And, I, and, and I, I'm sure you heard that before, and I believe that wholeheartedly. Um, but make sure you're going as far as you can by yourself. Because I think that we're so we're so eager to to be around other people, or we're so eager to find that significant other, or we're so eager like we're you know like oh I want to be men- I want a mentor you know what I mean or I'm looking for a team, but we're not taking the time to to work on ourselves and develop ourselves to be somebody that can actually mm-hmm. apply value to that team, or so that to be somebody to be the best person man or woman that we can be, so that when we when we get 
that significant other, we can sustain it. Mm-hmm. We can sustain that relationship and, and let that relationship flourish. You know, I mean, you, you're so, we're so eager to be mentored and ask somebody to, to, to uh, help construct our lives, but we're not somebody who can be mentored yet. You know what I mean? Like, what is your mentality? Yeah. Like, like the, the, the attitude you have or the outlook you have on life or the work ethic that you have now, is, is somebody, would somebody be wasting their time with you? Mm-hmm. Or would somebody be actually, would somebody benefit from mentoring you? Or would somebody be wasting their time? So definitely, definitely, you need people, right? You definitely want to get around other people or you definitely want to be, be mentored because you can only go so far by yourself. I get it. But make sure that you're doing everything that you can do before you even like, mm-hmm. or even or at, while you're on, in pursuit of that mentor or that significant other or that team, make sure that you're doing everything that you can do to be the best version of you, so that way when you guys collide, it's like magic. Wow, wow thank you <laughs> so much. He, oh, he is awesome. <laughs> um, thank you, Dave, for the no for the motivation, no and no thank no you all for tuning in. Everybody who has tuned in, everybody who will tune in, I we really, you guys. really appreciate. Gary, Chris. Andrew, Christopher <laughs> Maverick, shout out to you guys for tuning in, and, and I think Kristen, uh, baby, would I see you, Kristen? Uh, uh, shout out to you we, guys. We really man. appreciate all the love and support. Um, please comment, please share, um, let us know um, if this was helpful for you all today. Um, we record live as a reminder, not only for yourselves but also for us, mm-hmm. that every day that we get, we are live. So go live your show and make it phenomenal. See you guys hey, next guys. week. It'll be great.